My son Colton, as he was a newborn, we would like clap our hands and try to wake him up and he wouldn't wake up. I knew like, oh, he's deaf. Right at the four week mark, we had Colton tested with the more extensive test done at the ENT clinic and he wasn't passing on either side. If you don't have this cochlear nerve, the only way to receive auditory stimuli is to have an electrode placed directly on the brain stem. That's what the auditory brain stem implant does. Colton is otherwise a normal, healthy child um, that we uh, decided that he might benefit from a uh, brain stem implant. I mean, he really had everything to gain if this worked out for him. Colton received his brain stem implant shortly before his third birthday. The doctor wanted to come out and talk to us and had the great news that it was working. I mean, we were all high-fiving. It was very good news. Are you done? Uh, about six weeks later, we bring kids back and we put them through another sedation just to make sure we get the same kind of responses we got the first time. So in other words, that we confirmed that the implant has not moved in the six weeks. And the following day, um, we did activate Colton in the clinic. I really didn't know what to expect. It was a lot of beeps and hoping Colton would turn towards the sound. There were some really good reactions, I thought. <laughs> so we know he can hear. Now it's up to his brain to uh, get that hearing into use. He has this, this developed brain that's three years old and for the first time he's hearing sound. Um, so it's not going to register in the same way for him. Even though he has his, his implant now, we're still working a little bit on sign. We're working a lot on um, you know, the listen and drop. So what we'll do is we'll have him hold a little peg or a toy up and we'll kind of cover our mouth and do a ah uh, and just to see if he hears that sound and then put it in to let us know he heard it. So we're working on that. We call that just detection. Did he hear it? Did he not hear it? That's it. Then we're working a little bit on imitation as well. The improvements I've seen, he I've noticed is really watching our lips now and he is definitely trying to make the sounds we're making. <laughs> and he's responding maybe to his name about half the time now. Like he's definitely starting to know his name and every time, I mean, I can't help but get like a little choked up. He's starting to learn Colton means something, like that's his name. The implant restores hearing, our ultimate goal is spoken language. To talk like you or I would, to relate to other people, I mean, I just want him to be able to feel like he fits in and isn't any different from any one of us. If there's a, if there's a chance for a spoken language for a Colton, that's it's through an ABI. I feel really good about Colton's future. <laughs>